Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, I do have some great news. We do have a PS4 fake package enabler for the PS5 4.03 by Slurs Grovey. Um, currently, it is only available for the 4.03, so I do recommend that you do not update right now. Um, I do believe that it will eventually be available for the other firmwares that are jailbreakable. So the 3.00 up to 4.51. Just give it some time. Right now there's no rush. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump right into the video here. Uh, the fake package I do have is Minecraft. Go ahead and launch it. You can see you cannot use this content. You need to verify your license. So we're going back into there. Uh, we'll jump over to settings. I do want to show you one more other thing. Uh, I don't have debug settings. So with this PS PS4 fake package enabler, it also gives us our debug settings so we can go ahead and install the packages that we require. Um, if we jump up to our system, go into system software console information, you can see that I am running 4.03. Um, we want to take note of the IP address uh, 10.0.0.9. As you can see in Netcat, just below there, I do have the IP address in as well as the port which is 9019. That's what the uh, port Slurs Groby's host uses. And I do have the PS4 fake package enabler up as well. So we're going to back in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and launch our browser. Okay, and we're going to be using the Echo Stretch host. Um, I have it set up for the PS5 jailbreak, but uh, if you just go on to Echo Stretch 701.site, over to the right or the top right hand corner, you will see PS5. So if we go ahead and select PS4, uh, you will see PS5 here. Just go ahead and select it, and it will bring you over to the hosts. Now we will be using Slurs Grovies, so we'll go ahead and select it. Um, so all we need to do is just go ahead and click the Jailbreak plus Netcat. Before you do this here, just take note that uh, it's not 100%. It may fail, it may freeze the PlayStation, it may reboot it. Uh, just go ahead and keep on trying it. If it does freeze, just reboot it. It shouldn't take too many tries, and uh, you should get it up and running. So go ahead and select JB plus Netcat. And we're just waiting for a message to come up, waiting for payload. Uh, once it does come up, we'll go ahead and inject it. And as you can see, I got a black screen, and my PS5 is rebooting. Okay, so I got it loaded up again. We'll go ahead and select the JB plus Netcat again. And if you do get there's not enough free system memory, just go ahead and hit OK. And we'll wait for the message waiting for payload. Okay, if you get the message again, just go ahead and hit OK. You may get it a couple of times, but uh, it should be following the not enough memory again. Okay. Three times. Never had that before, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be very much longer. We should get the waiting for payloads message. There we go. Go ahead and eject a payload. And once you do get it done, you can go ahead and hit OK on that message and hit your PlayStation button to exit out. Now, if we jump over to our settings, we scroll down. You can see we do have our debug settings now. And if we back out of there and we go over to our Minecraft, we can go ahead and launch it. Now Minecraft at the uh, Mojang symbol does take a little bit of time before it gets into the game. But you can see that uh, we are not getting that message anymore and that it is uh, loading up right there. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. This is uh, great news, and I believe that uh, we will get it for the other firmwares. Um, we just need to be patient and wait it out. But yeah, if you did like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.